In Joker Folad, do we find out what happened to Arthur Fleck after his violent appearance at the Murray Franklin show? The bold and experimental sequel reimagines Arthur's trial as an intense courtroom drama and a musical fever dream. But despite its originality, it's high time that Joaquin Phoenix's Joker movies end with this second outing. Today, at Movie Recap Pro, we discuss why Joker 3 shouldn't be in the cards. Is it just me, or is it getting crazier out there? While the first Joker kept Arthur Fleck's fate open-ended, Joker Folad ends with a shocking death. Arthur is stabbed to death by a fellow inmate in Arkham, concluding his saga as a broken man of Gotham City. Stretching Arthur's storyline beyond his death would be overkill, or fans might see it as a cash-grab opportunity for Warner Brothers. As for Arthur's love interest, Lee, her fate can have multiple interpretations. Lee's suicidal tendencies are hinted throughout the film, and when Arthur gives up his Joker persona, Lee seems to be disillusioned. Arthur still meets Lee in the end, when she leaves him and ends their relationship. Fan theories point out that Arthur probably imagined Lee in their final encounter, and that Lee had already taken her life by then. Even if Lee is alive, a Harley Quinn spinoff seems futile, given how this version of the character was depicted as toxically attached to Arthur Fleck. Unlike Margot Robbie's Harley in the DC Extended Universe or Kay Coco's version in the animated series, Lady Gaga's Lee doesn't have much character background to lead a third Joker film on her own. Drawing on the themes of the first film, Joker Folad depicts many Joker fanatics who believe in Arthur Fleck's innocence and even try to help him escape the courtroom, wearing clown masks and makeup. These Joker fanatics would likely cause trouble in the future, even after Arthur's death. This future generation of Jokers could be used as a potential pitch for Joker 3, but it's perhaps for the best if Warner Brothers doesn't move forward with these plans. Actors like Jack Nicholson, Heath Ledger, and Joaquin Phoenix have already delivered different versions of the iconic DC villain. It's high time for DC adaptations to delve deeper into other villains. Even though Joker smashed several box office records in its time, Joker Folad sadly underperformed at the box office, with a domestic collection of just $40 million in its opening weekend. A disappointing track record, especially considering its budget was between $190 million and $200 million. Such disappointing numbers prove that a third Joker film isn't guaranteed to be a blockbuster like the 2019 original. If nothing else, the Joker franchise still offered two genre-defying movies and Joaquin Phoenix's unforgettable performance. With just two films, Joker had a good run in an era of oversaturated comic book adaptations. So, what do you think about the possible Joker 3 movie? Thanks for watching.